Hi, welcome to Scott's Inverts. I'm Scott, these are the Inverts, and today we have a 30 pound mystery box from Dave's Little Beasties that we bought from the Coventry show. So without further ado, let's uh, let's have a look and see what we got. 30 pound mystery box from Dave's Little Beasties. Here we go, so open it up. We got this one from the Coventry show. The enemy actually uh, worked alongside camera lady at that one. Again, loads of packing peanuts. I know we need them, but do we need them? So we shall go boom. First one out of the box is a Reduncus, valued at nine pounds. And it is literally just there. You can see that, absolutely awesome. Again, you guys kind of clock up what you think the value of this box is as we go along. Second one is another sling, a T Vegans, Taliti Cattle Vegans, absolutely, wow, 30 quid. And then Incy, absolutely awesome, and it's just the hell up. Can you see this little fella? Absolutely beautiful. The Vegans is just a little bit too small uh, to get on the camera. I do like how he uses the um, the seller tape or masking tape to write the names on it. It's proper old school. A Davius Pentalorus valued out of fiver. That's going to be in there somewhere. No, it's buried itself down. So, so far we're on four slings. And there is still more. 30 quid, that's all we paid. A P regardless. So there's a pokey there, just there, look. Absolutely awesome. Boom, 30 pound mystery box from Dave's Little Beasties. We're, we're actually in the kitchen. It seems like such a long time ago since we did intros and outros from here because we were still building the shed down the bottom of the garden or the, the building whatever you want to call it insulating it out and all the rest of it um let me know down in the comments what you thought today's box i thought it was extremely good value for money people's mystery boxes everybody's mystery boxes seem to be going up another level um at shows as well as having um sellers send them out to you as well as really is good good value um, I know what a lot of you are going to say, Scott, but mystery boxes, you can get double ups. So, I don't, I don't understand it when people say you get double ups. It's like, two of the same spider? Happy days? What's wrong with that? <laughs> one, if one passes away, you have a second chance at it, at it. If you've got an adult and then you've got a sling and in a year or two that sling goes into a mature male, you're absolutely laughing. Also, if you've got a friend that's just getting into the hobby, maybe got one or two spiders, and you've got some double ups, you've got a good excuse to help that person increase their collection for free, just simply by giving them one of your double ups. I personally really enjoy them because I'm going to use just curly hair as an example. You can have three or four curly hairs set out. One is going to act as the books say and as everybody else says and be really docile. Another one might act a bit more defensive. It might show, it might be a little bit more active. The third one, again, it could be completely different. Might be docile one minute, really active another another minute. I think to understand the tarantulas, if you keep a couple of each different species or where you can, it really gives you a little bit more insight as opposed to just keeping the one. Because the, the more I get into the spiders and the longer I've been keeping spiders, the more I'm convinced that they do actually have their own characteristics, um, very similar to us as humans. And I know what people are going to say, you tend to put your own em emotions onto animals and expect them to display it and look for it. I get that, but I do feel that spiders in the same genus, in the same species, can act very, very differently to one another, even if they're kept under the same conditions. And that, for me, really excites me as a keeper and really keeps my interest up in these spiders so going back to the mystery boxes 
when it comes to double ups, I absolutely love them. I absolutely love Uncle Dave as well and Camera Lady. And the show where we picked this box up from, the enemy was on their table for quite a long time and she absolutely loved it. So thank you to you to, 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 to Uncle Dave and Camera Lady for making her feel extremely welcome. Anyway, guys, remember to hit that subscription button. If you want to see some more snippets from me being in the kitchen, let me know downstairs. And as always, we shall see you again on the next one.